local charity uses a trailer to haul food for hungry people. It's been heavily used during this coronavirus pandemic, and now it's missing. News Channel 6's Wes Cooper reports. Here at Mercy Ministries, right off of Broad Street, one of their trailers was stolen. People here at Mercy Ministries say they can't believe that this happened. We really thought somebody would bring it back to us, actually. That's why we put it on Facebook. But apparently that's not going to happen now, so we're a trailer short. Right now, Mercy Ministries is serving about 14,000 to 15,000 people per month during this health crisis, and their numbers keep going up. We live in an area of town where we have a good many homeless and a good many underhoused people that either don't have electricity or cooking facilities. So ours has to be geared to walk, in, walk through, drive through distributions, and then we also uh, deliver people that are shut-ins for Golden Harvest. Those deliveries are more of a challenge now that the trailer's gone. Volunteers noticed it was missing Tuesday morning. Oliver says the trailer got stuck in their gated, locked lot, so they had to park it outside the fence. The trailer was locked. How they got it loose or off there, we still got the key to the lock. <laughs> we don't have the trailer nor the lock, so we're not sure how it happened. The trailer that is used by the local charity looks like this one. It's a 16-foot flatbed. It's black, has two newly treated boards, and it has part of a trailer jack on the front. Unfortunately, there are no surveillance cameras at the nonprofit. Our trailer is covered by whatever vehicle is pulling it, so no vehicle was pulling it, so it'll fall to our property insurance, and I'm, I'm really, to tell you the truth, don't know if it's covered or not yet. Oliver has not filed a police report yet, but she says it's looking like she'll have to. Thefts do happen at Mercy Ministries, but she says nothing is stolen as big as a trailer. It's so obvious and out there, so we're, we're, uh, we still have hopes that somebody might just drop it off. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. If you have any information on the trailer's whereabouts that belongs to Mercy Ministries, contact them. You can find that info in this article on our website, WJBF.com. This is Wes Cooper reporting in Augusta, WJBF News Channel 6.